Good morning. Welcome to 30 Days of Shaolin. This is uh, day two of the training. So you see from the videos that much of the training that we do in Shaolin Kung Fu is uh, very similar each day. You start with the entering Qigong state of mind, and then some Qigong to get the energy flowing, and then stance training, often then one finger shooting Zen, and then some patterns or a particular set that you're practicing at that time. And then if you've got a partner to practice with, some partner practice and application. So I'll be doing some more application videos um, over the coming weeks with some of the students so that you can get a, an idea of how to use the combat sequences. So you can also look at the videos that have already been recorded on applying the uh, combat sequence one from the Shaolin summer camp. And you can have a look at that on shaolin training. Dot com. So we start as we normally do, entering a Qigong state of mind. So feet close together, stand upright and relaxed, eyes open or closed, and enter a Qigong state of mind, relax the body, let go of any thoughts, relax the breathing. Finger point massage. So remember when you've done your stance training, don't just rush off to do something else, but take several minutes to stand in flowing stillness uh, to allow the chi to build. Also helps nourish the spirit as well. Okay, so one finger shooting zen.
stance training helps to build strong stances. Uh, th this needs to be balanced out with some flexibility training as well. Uh, when you're training the stances or any aspect of the Shaolin Kung Fu, Tai Chi Chuan or the Qigong, you can work at a number of levels. One, work at the form level, get the form good. Two, working at the energy level, either to get the energy to flow or build in energy. And three is working at the mind level as well. We work at a combination of all these levels. If I'm training and doing a number of the exercises, uh, like now I'm going to do a few of the Qigong exercises uh, for flexibility training, <clears throat> I wouldn't go deep at the mind or chi level. I'd work more at the form level. Of course it's going to generate some chi flow, uh, but I'm not intending or purposely going deep at the mind level, so better to keep it a gentle form level. So I'll just start with uh, embracing Buddha, just gently turning. To turning waist. Dance in fairy. Old monk removes shoe. To grind in rice. So three levels to the earth. Low hand touches ground. and then just gently let the chi flow. So the 
combat sequence that I practiced on day one was from Lohan Kung Fu. Uh, this one's actually from Tai Chi Chuan. So I'm practicing each of the combat sequences just to learn uh, the basics of them so I can help out at the summer camp. But then I'll choose one of the sequences in which I want to practice in order to use at the summer camp as well. So this is the Tai Chi Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video again. And I'll see you again tomorrow.